Today's topic is discharging of capacitor. In previous lecture, we studied charging of capacitor. So we will have the same circuit in discharging. That is, we will have a series RC circuit in which a resistor and a capacitor are connected in series. Now if the capacitor is fully charged and we are now studying discharging of capacitor. So when the terminal B is connected with terminal D, that is, when we charge the capacitor actually, so we connect these two terminals. So the current starts flowing and the capacitor gets charged. When the capacitor is fully charged, then we disconnect these terminals and we connect these two terminal then. So <clears throat> after connecting these two terminal, the capacitor which is full of charge will start discharging now. Now here we have a bulb, let's suppose, that is on. So it will remain on until and unless the capacitor is fully discharged. When we connect these two terminal, the bulb remain on and it takes energy from the plates of the capacitor. The energy inside the capacitor <coughs> gets on decreased and uh, a time reach when the plates of the capacitor gets emptied and the bulb will automatically turn off. Clear? So first of all, we should know the equation of discharging of capacitor. Equation for discharging of capacitor. The equation for discharging of capacitor is Q is equal to Q naught E power minus T divided by RC. So it's a little bit different from the charging equation. Now you will have known the parameter involved in this equation. Q shows us the instantaneous charge, Q naught shows the maximum amount of charge, E is just a mathematical constant called eccentricity. T is the time span, that is the time taken by the capacitor to get emptied. The time taken by a capacitor to get discharged is denoted by T and RC is time constant. Now if we have a special case, that is, if the value of T gets matched with the value of RC, RC mean, let we have the resistance of 5 ohm and we have a capacitance of 2 farad, so R and C are in multiplication in this formula. So when we multiply R and C, so 5 2s are 10, the value of RC comes out to be 10 second and the time is also going on, so 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, 8 loss of time will reach that the time taken by discharging will reach to a value of 10 second. So when the time value matches with the time constant value, so then this equation becomes Q is equal to Q naught e power minus T by RC. Now put the value of T as RC. So we get RC divided by RC. So similar term will cancel out each other. So we get Q naught. So we get Q is equal to Q naught into 1 over E into 100%. Clear? Now by putting the value of E, which is 2.71, remember this E is called eccentricity and it's a mathematical constant, its value is 2.71. So by putting this value, we get Q0 into 0.368 into 100. So when we further simplify it, we get 36.8%, which is when rounded off, if we round off this figure, we get 37%. So what did we conclude from this lecture? Listen. When we are charging the capacitor, we are having an RC circuit. So when the charging process is done, so we connect these two terminals. So the current starts flowing from the battery and the capacitor is charged slowly and gradually. Also the bulb is turned on. But when the capacitor is fully charged, 
we disconnect these two terminal and now these two terminal are considered as connected so no current supply is there from battery to the capacitor so here the bulb will still remain on the bulb will remain on earlier this bulb was using the energy of the battery now the battery is disconnected so this bulb is now using the energy of the plates of the capacitor so the plates of the capacitor will now act as the terminal of the battery so the capacitor will give energy to the char the, the, the bulb and the bulb remains on until and unless the capacitor plates gets emptied so in charging process in earlier uh, lecture yesterday we studied in charging that the out of the total energy coming from the battery 63% energy is used in charging that is the charging process is faster because it uses 63% of the total energy but when the capacitor is discharging the result is 37% that is discharging is slower this charging process is slower than the charging so that is why when we charge a device or a capacitor it takes less time in charging but when after charging we use it to discharge it it, it takes a lot of time so the only reason is that that the discharging process is slower than the charging process so this was our today's lecture i hope um, you have got a lot of things from this lecture thank you